I'm tempted to go in, but I won't. I will oblige. I feel like a birthday bird. We don't want to see what's in there. The head. What is it? Good morning, hello. Today is Sunday, the 13th of December, which means one thing and one thing only. It is my 21st birthday. While I'm doing my birthday cup of tea of the day, it's huge. I'm feeling a little bit tired this morning. I'm about to play an hour of Overwatch with the boyfriend before we start the day. Um, but I thought I'd just pop on here while my um, cup of tea was brewing because what else am I gonna be doing while it's brewing? It's currently 10 past nine, which means that 21 years ago, I would have been alive for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, strain this. Add some milk, but not too much because I like my tea quite strong. And I'll show you an ominous message I have left for me on the door, on the living room door, because it's very scary. I might be something from, um, the Walking Dead, not Overwatch, The Walking Dead. So I'll show you that in just a second. Let me just go and do my tea. It's always so hard to get the bloody tea bag out of this fucking cup. It's so annoying. Ah, oh, that's really hot. Nothing like a birthday burn. Tea's done. I know for a fact I'm gonna drop my cup of tea if I try and like carry it out here with me. So I'm just gonna show you the ominous message on the door. Let me actually turn some lights on because i don't think i'll be able to see it if i don't there we go so i come downstairs there's loads of crap on the stairs my sister's birthday was a few days ago so that's why that's on there but anyway so i come down the stairs and i see stop do not enter without us come and get us this looks like something from the walking dead because me and my boyfriend have been watching the walking dead so i turn around and i see stop dead inside <laughs> don't enter dead inside i'm tempted to go in but i won't i will oblige we're gonna see what this is in a minute but first tea and overwatch so just finished with some overwatch of the morning some birthday overwatch we won quite a few games we lost quite a few games so i think it was a mixture of both but i was playing mercy they wanted to play like a wholesome heels character and mercy just ticks all those boxes for me yeah it was it was really cute really cool um and i really enjoyed playing uh, overwatch this morning with my boyfriend we just hung out we chilled and now it is time to go downstairs and have a look at what is downstairs i guess i bet some of you are wondering why i'm kind of like vlogging today because i don't normally vlog my birthday unless i'm doing vlog which is one of the perks of having your birthday in december and also one of the perks of having your birthday in december is having an advent calendar for like your birth date and also everyone's uploading on your birthday it's really cool like vlogmas and stuff i'm not doing vlogmas and that's not why i'm vlogging i kind of wanted to vlog because this birthday is going to be so different and i think i want to also vlog christmas day as well because of that reason just plainly because i want to look back on this in the future and see how my 21st birthday was different to all the rest of them i live in nottingham and we are in tier two i believe tier two slash three um and i just thought i would do a little vlog of you like following me around for my 21st birthday just because it's gonna be different and i would like to look back on this in the future and just enjoy my 21st birthday and i thought vlogging and having this time capsule of a vlog would be a good way of doing that this time last year on my 20th birthday we went out for a meal and we were all like really close together and we could all mix and stuff which is very much so different to this year but the plans are to stay inside from the of the day we're gonna have a lovely roast dinner because it is sunday after all and we are also gonna make some brownies um and later a bit later about half past six we have a spiritual church um, very close to us in Sherwood and um, they are having a, I think it's a service or an open circle. I think it's service on a Sunday and then open circle on a Wednesday. So we're going to go along there today. Um, obviously social distancing. It is only households that are going, households only. And I'm going with my mum and my sister, who I live with. We're going to wear masks. We're going to be socially distant to everyone else. We're going to stay safe. Hand sanitizer, washing your hands every 20 minutes. And we're going to try and be as safe as we possibly can. We weren't going to go out anywhere today. It was just going to be like chill day in, making brownies, watching films and stuff. Um, but I saw that they were having a service and I really wanted to go and see how it is because I've always been someone who's spiritual and stuff like that. And I just thought it would be nice. I just realized you can see my Discord chat. I'm so sorry. I've always been someone who has identified as being spiritual and I do tarot and I have a lot of crystals and all of that good stuff so I thought I would kind of put 
my money where my mouth is sort of thing and go and experience what a spiritual church meeting is like. Just in case I like it, I might learn something new, I might be able to pick up some stuff um, that they teach us or there is going to be a medium there, so I'm not sure if it is a circle or if there'll be like a mixture of both, like a service and then like a mini circle or something. But next week I definitely want to go to the actual circle and see how that is. Sorry if that doesn't interest you, but I thought it was just something really cool to do on my birthday, especially 21st, and it's quite an emotional day today, so I thought being in touch with my spiritual side was perfect for me. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go downstairs now because I really want to see what's in that bloody room. I really want to see what's in there. Da, 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 da. <gasps> it's a dark chocolate one. No! like the top chocolate one. Yeah, they're not very nice. Oh, that sucks. You know what? I'm gonna open 14 as well then. Because I, I don't like the top chocolate ones. I'm cheating. Why don't you put the dark one in the 14? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna switch them over switch and put that one in there yeah, and then tomorrow just... I'm gonna be really disappointed. Can confirm it's the next day and I was severely disappointed. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Thank you so much. The head. <laughs> May have burnt my toast, but it's, it's all that matters. It's just, it's it's birthday toast. Birthday burnt toast. Oh <laughs> hell you! Bing bing bing. What's in the door? Probably really. What is it? Hello. <gasps> Oh, oh, wow, wow, oh, thank you, wow, whoa, I didn't even see this, this is huge, I know, what is this, whoa, oh, thank you so much, Oh yeah, release. <laughs> it's fasty. It's fasty. <laughs> it's fasty. <laughs> it's so big. I got it without my Go on, Jonathan Graff, who I didn't know was in also in Mind Hunter. <laughs> Can he spit again, please? Can he not? Yeah! Woo! Bear with me. Are you aware we're, we're making history? <laughs> we're still watching Hamilton, old Hamilton. <laughs> Bright young men. Yo, who the hell is this? Hello, as you can see, it is very much so darker and later now because I've had to put the ring light on. That's how, well, how the frame looks if I don't have the ring light on. Um, so I put my ring light on just because I'm about to do a makeup and I would like to see what I'm doing, to be fair. I also would like you to see what I'm doing as well. I was actually going to like film a little like talking about the books that I got given uh, because I'm going to be uploading this to my second channel, to my book channel. I think I actually might try and upload it to both um, and see like my main and my book two channel and see which one like kind of does better. I will show you my outfit when it has been completed. I'm just adding the badges. But yeah, I was going to do like a little section of me doing my makeup and talking about the books I was given for my birthday. I'm kind of like growing out of the whole like showing everyone what I got for my Christmas and birthday present. As much as like people try and say like, oh, I'm not trying to brag or anything. It, it's always bragging, like you always come across like that. 
Um, and rightfully so, if I'm gonna be completely honest. But yeah, I was gonna show you the books that I got. I still might do that, I don't know. This is a birthday vlog. It is completely separate to my end of year, new year book haul that I was gonna do. Um, so I might just show you anyway and talk about them a little bit. Again, I'm not gonna do like a full haul of all the presents that I got because to be honest, I just think it's a little bit stupid and rubbing it in other people's faces what, what I got and look at all the things I've been given. I just don't like the vibe anymore. For Christmas or birthday, just because I feel like it's feeding into like just a conscious thing of everyone having to like buy people things for their for their birthday or for Christmas. I don't want to contribute to anyone's like negative feelings around or stressful feelings around Christmas. Like I don't want to contribute. I'm pretty sure my mum told me one year, um, oh wait, I haven't got you a lot for Christmas. Like your whole for your YouTube channel might be a bit um, bad this year and I think that's the moment where I thought like I can't be doing this whole business anymore I also might talk to you a little bit about like the makeup that I'm using the product I need some light on this side which is really annoying um, if I had my PC on it, it would be perfect. Should I put my PC on just to have a, bit, a little bit more light? Oh, look at that. It's really lighting up my face. Anyway, a little bit about my makeup, what I do and how I put it on and the products that I use and stuff like that. I've been using this foundation for quite a while. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of would like a change. It is the Dream Radiant Liquid Satin Foundation from Maybelline. Um, and it's in the shade Too Fair Beige. And I this is like my holy grail. I also use this really grubby Harry Potter glass for all my brushes. Probably isn't the best thing. I will do my foundation and probably come back because I look like really weird without my foundation on and I can't really touch anything while I'm doing it so I think I might just do this and come back to you um, and let you know about the books that I have been gifted today and about the other um, products that I use on my face. Now it's time to sit in silence while I do my foundation. I loved him. So I just watched Hamilton and I'm just like, I've, I've got all the songs in my head and it's super annoying. I look like a ghost. My foundation is definitely too pale for me. Um, we're gonna liven it up with some powder. My powder is from MUA Makeup Academy. My highlight on the other hand is from Primark just because I really like it. I love how textured it is. I love how pigmented it is. I love how it looks on my actual skin um, and I just I tried other high brand highlights and none of them do it like Primark. I will be completely honest. I think we're going to start with Eloise's stuff that she got me because it's like kind of the first books that are in this bag so Eloise is my best friend if you didn't know she lives quite far away from me and because of the pandemic we haven't been able to see each other for ages and she knows I love poetry she knows I want to get into more poetry both writing and reading it so she bought me two poetry collections one of which is a poem for every day of the year it's basically a collection of 366 poems one for every day of the year they are from some actually really famous poets so I was very surprised to see that um we've got T.S. Eliot we've got Lewis Carroll William Shakespeare Caroline Duffy Kate Tempest I'm very excited to consume this because of that and I think I might start this next year and kind of like maybe I will actually save a um a poem for every single day or I will just read it all in one um because this is quite chunky I'll do my powder next before I talk about the other book that Eloise got me because there's only four books I feel like I'm gonna run out before I finish my makeup I really like this powder and I also like this brush as well I can't remember where I got this brush from I think it was super drug forgive me I also use my powder for contour as well I really like poetry I like writing it I love reading it I actually had an idea for my very own like poetry collection that I'm gonna try and write over the winter holidays I think the reason why I like poetry so much is because it lets me get my emotions out which is probably why a lot of people like poetry anyway a lot of people are reluctant to like poetry I don't really know why but I love it and my best friend knew that so she bought me two poetry collections this next product is the brow this way palette from River London obviously you can see that I have used this to death um because we are starting to hit tin again I don't really use the gloss in this I don't think it's very good um but I love the um the powder in this I'm actually kind of looking for a different eyebrow product I'm thinking of going to Morphe and having a look at some of the stuff there because this is like a beginner's palette and I kind of wanted to like move on from this kind of palette as I'm saying that I'm completely doing it wrong so I need to concentrate when it comes to my eyebrows now that I've used another product I will tell you in a book that I got it's from Eloise again and she got me Homebody by Rupi Kaur I had no idea that Rupi Kaur had another book out I read The Sun and the Flowers and Milk and Honey and I loved them both um, I know that a lot of people find her poetry quite meme -y, but I actually like it I like the way that she writes um I think it's really nice and I'm really grateful for Eloise for getting that for me I think it's really nice of her our next um product is going to be mascara i don't do anything to my eyes because i just feel like i just never get it right um apart from mascara and i will apply my first coat of mascara before my first coat of lipstick now i own way too many lipsticks like this is my makeup bag and it is overflowing to the brim 
um, with lipstick. We're gonna decide between those in a minute. First, I'm gonna do my first coat of uh, mascara. And the mascara I use is not my favorite, to be honest. It's the Rimmel London Scandalous Eyes Reloaded. Um, I'm gonna buy myself, you can't see it, but I'm gonna buy myself some new mascara once Christmas and my birthday and stuff is over because I don't want people to buy me new mascara and I buy myself one. Um, just for the lol. These next two are both from my sister, one of which being The Five, The Untold Lies of the Women Killed by Jack the Ripper by Hallie Rubenhold. I have heard so many good things about this and I've wanted it for a very long time. That's the, as much as they're gonna get lifted by this mascara because it's just awful, I will be honest. I'm very excited about this. It kind of does what it says on the, on the cover, is that The Five, women that Jack the Ripper killed don't get nearly as much fame and as much recognition as Jack the Ripper himself does and everyone assumes that these women were prostitutes and they were like you know horrible women even though sex work doesn't make you a horrible woman at all. I'm really hoping to be educated by this book and I would really recommend if you are looking for that because I really would like to know the women that he killed and not just the story of Jack the Ripper like he's some like god or superhero uh, because he isn't he's a murderer and he was a horrible man. <laughs> anyway to lipstick town maybe I'll try one and if I don't like it I'll change. I think these look pretty similar if I just like get them out. Yeah, these are literally the exact same lipstick and I've worn this one pretty recently. So I think the winner is the Maybelline New York Red for me. The last book I got today and the second one my, my sister gave me was Heroin by Mindy McGuinness, which goes with my outfit and also <gasps> outfits as books, guys. And I have to remember this because I want to do a video like that soon and this is perfect. This is basically about a drug addiction in young adults i'm pretty sure i think it's about our main character who gets into a car accident where they need like pain relief or something like that and they start getting addicted to to painkillers of some sort i can't actually remember what kind of like drug it is but i'm pretty sure it's like a drug that leads to other addictions sort of thing um and i've heard really good things about this emma books reads about it all the time and i really trust her reading opinion and i'm really excited to learn more about what it's like to have an addiction and to be recovering from addiction because i think it's really prevalent right now i just want to be helpful to those around me who have addictions and those like just in my everyday life that do have and struggle with substance abuse so i just want to be more helpful i want to be educated which is i think gonna help that's gonna help with that a lot so then my sister also got me um this is from sheen are these two earrings i actually lost a pair of like these i think it one of them fell out and i just didn't want to wear the other one because it was odd i'm gonna pop these in i'm gonna do my hair um, i'm gonna go downstairs but i thought i'd show you these because they are absolutely gorgeous so i'm gonna pop these in i'm gonna do my hair and i shall meet you downstairs when we're about to leave to go to the picture church i'm so excited to actually be leaving the house on my birthday i did not think i'm gonna be leaving the house and it's just so exciting but yeah we didn't manage to make brownies as of yet um if this church thing spiritualist church we're trying out isn't gonna take too long we're gonna make them after we come back or tomorrow it depends on how we're feeling and stuff like that um when we get home so depends how long it goes on for depends how tired i am when i get home because i have been awake since like seven don't think i take my camera because i don't know how chill they're going to be with me like recording and stuff but i will get some clips on my phone hopefully because i think the church will be quite pretty um so i will do that and i'll meet you downstairs before we go all that time doing my makeup and not only is it raining i've also got to wear a mask so gg <laughs> <laughs> Hello, so it is now the next day. I'm about to get ready to edit this vlog actually together and hopefully get it uploaded as well, scheduled for some time this week. My first action point of call of being 21 is I've actually got an appointment today with a therapist to talk more about my eating disorder and the way I feel and to try and get me some sort of recovery um, that is more like defined than, you know, just me trying to do it myself sort of thing. I am going to be focusing on 
my mental health is in this next year um, and I think that my first action of being 21 going to see a therapist about something that's been borrowed with me since I was very very young is a really good step in the right direction. I just thought I would explain a little bit um, of what happened last night since I didn't really like vlog after we came back from the spiritualist church or even after we went really. We really enjoyed the spiritualist church. The only thing I would say that I wasn't prepared for was how much was talks about God and stuff like that because I didn't really think that people who practiced tarot and witchcraft and were Wiccans and more I just thought it was more rooted in paganism and Wicca rather than Christianity. So it's really weird to see like a blend of the both of them because I thought that they were like opposites. And it felt a little bit weird for us to be like celebrating God when and then going into like medium stuff. Um, speaking of the medium stuff, actually, I really did enjoy it. Um, that was the kind of bit that we actually went for. And it was a really interesting way to spend my 21st birthday. And I really, really enjoyed myself. Despite like it being like a COVID birthday during like tier three lockdown sort of thing, it was probably one of the best birthdays I've ever had and I didn't even expect to go out yesterday or like leave the house and the fact that we could go out to the spiritualist church even though at first it wasn't what we expected and then it got into the medium stuff. I just think it was the best day, one of the best birthdays I've ever had. I do think with COVID I kind of like appreciated the fact that we were doing what we were doing because I couldn't do that much if that makes sense um, and it was more special to me and I think it was honestly one of the best birthdays I've ever had. We actually did get picked on during the medium section of the service and we kind of like just decided that we liked the medium, we loved her, we think that she was great and we just didn't like gel with like the God side of stuff and we just felt like that bit wasn't for us and didn't align with our beliefs which is fine. We decided to just go instead to the open circles, which happen every Wednesday, rather than the services on Sundays that happen. But it was a good experience to have, I won't lie. After that, we came home, we made some brownies, um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be including the footage here or before this, um, but just in case you were confused, we did make brownies. We made like a pre-mixed one, and it was like a galaxy one, and they were so nice. And then after we baked the brownies, I was just really tired because I'd been awake since 7 a.m. The, the, that morning. Actually, I woke up at five, and then went to sleep for two hours, and then I woke up again at seven. Um, so we made brownies and I went to bed, but before I went to bed, this happened. <laughs> I'm so terrified. Ready? Yeah. finding glitter around me and around my room around my house and just in my hair for days like weeks maybe yeah that's pretty much my birthday in a nutshell i'm sorry that i didn't really vlog the last bit of it when we went out and stuff like that it was just a bit hectic to film and we were just experiencing something new and i was tired at that point so um vlogging became like a second priority but i hope that you enjoyed the footage that i did get and enjoy following me around for the day. I will hopefully be doing more of these little like day vlogs again because I do miss weekly vlogging but I can't realistically do weekly vlogs anymore. It just stresses me out to no end. But I do enjoy these little solo vlogs. So if you also did, give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.